Welcome back to Grizz Vision here on OUGrizzlies.com. I'm here with head women's basketball coach Jeff Tungate after an 86-39 victory over Rochester College. Coach, uh, just you know, give me an opening statement kind of about the game. Well, you know, the first half we, we, we really didn't do a good job defensively. They ran some great sets against us. We had trouble guarding, and I thought the second half we came out with a lot more intensity, put a lot more pressure on defensively, went to a press to try to crank up the, the intensity that we needed to play at, and obviously the second half we made a good run to start the half, and you know, really, really proud of our team and how they responded coming out the second half. We got to get off to better starts than what we did the first half, obviously. But you got to credit Rochester College; they had a great game plan. They executed it and caused us a lot of problems in the first half. Coach, talk about the defense. As you, in the second half, you know, the score was forty-four to eight. Had a season high, uh, twenty-six steals, caused thirty-three turnovers. Just talk about your defense a little bit. Well, you know, I think the the biggest thing is we were playing hard. We started diving on the floor. We started to getting after loose balls. The first half, we just looked at them. We weren't playing aggressive. We weren't really getting up and pressuring the basketball. Second half, we started doing the things it takes to win basketball games, and that's getting the 50-50 balls and playing with a lot more effort. And, and that was the, the biggest difference with our defense was just our effort. A lot of balanced scoring here. Bethany Walworth leading with 15 points, but really everyone – except for one player scored on your bench. Is that really what you're looking for, is trying to get everyone the basketball today? Yeah, you know, it, it's been a focus the last couple of weeks of, of sharing the ball. And sometimes we get a little too unselfish, but that's okay. And I think we did a really good job of trying to make the extra pass, find the open player. And, you know, we did some good things in transition in the second half. And so having the bench be able to come off and score and getting everybody involved, obviously, um, is an important thing to, you know, keep everybody working hard. and. And, and keep doing things in practice they need to do to get better. And, and those the bench has been working extremely hard, and, and they deserve those those minutes and those opportunities. This is the last non-conference game before starting conference play next week at Wright State. What do you take from not only this game but the whole non-conference season going into league play? Well, thank goodness we're done with BCS schools. I mean, seven of our eight losses have been against the BCS schools. So to go five and one against non-BCS schools, I think, is a good accomplishment for our team. And. You know, have playing that kind of schedule obviously prepares you for league play. And, you know, we've seen a lot of different things. We've seen zone, we've seen presses, we've seen man-to-man, -man, we've seen gap defenses, deny defenses. And, and playing this type of schedule, I think, really prepares us well for conference play. And it's great to, to have that part behind us now and, and focus on, on why you play the game, and that's league play. All right, Coach, thanks a lot for the time. We'll see you on Wednesday. Thank you.